Hello, friends from all over the world. Welcome to Honor of Kings. In this episode, we will bring you the tutorial of Honor of Kings for beginners. The KIC 2022 will be played in a five versus five mode. In the Heroes Court, the left side area belongs to the blue team, and the right belongs to the red team. There are three lanes, including Clash Lane, Mid Lane, and Form Lane. The lane in the middle is River, the triangle area formed by the mid lane, side lane, and river is a jungle. Each lane has three towers including outer tower near the river, inner tower in the middle, and high ground tower near the home base. The area enclosed among three high ground towers is the high ground. In the middle of the high ground is a crystal, which is the only criterion that determines the result of the game. The team that destroys the crystal on the opposite side is a winner. One of the necessary conditions for victory is having experience and gold. Experience helps your hero to level up, hence increasing the hero's basic attribute and damage of skills. Gold can be used to buy equipment in a store to largely enhance the hero's power. You can obtain experience and gold by killing the enemy's minions, heroes, and monsters on the map. Major Economic Resources Minion Line In the beginning of a game, the crystal of each side will summon 9 minions which are divided into 3 groups and head to the enemy's crystal through the mid lane, flash lane, and farm lane respectively. Killing those minions is one of the major economic resources. Neutral Resources In the first 30 seconds of the game, there will be neutral resources refreshing in the jungle and river, commonly known as monsters. Killing the red buff can cause real damages and slow down control to the enemy. The blue buff helps quickly recover the magic points in a certain period and reduce the skill cooldown time. Killing normal monsters will help you obtain gold and experience. In the first two minutes of the game, the tyrant will appear in the dragon pit of the river. Killing the tyrant will make all your team members obtain experience and gold. Meanwhile, the overlord will also appear. Killing the overlord will get three waves of overlord vanguards in your team, which is quite helpful for destroying the towers and crystal. In the tenth minute of the game, the Shadow Tyrant will replace the Tyrant and appear. Killing the Shadow Tyrant will increase the skill damages of your whole team. The Overlord will be replaced by the Shadow Overlord. The hero killing the Shadow Overlord will get an active skill to release a Shadow Vanguard which will quickly pass the lane and cause heavy damages to the minions on the lane. In the 20th minute of the game, the Tempest Dragon, strongest monster of the game, will refresh. Killing the Tempest Dragon will get a super powerful buff Storm Awakening, which can enhance the real damages and shield effects. Therefore, neutral resources will not only bring gold and experience, but also buff to the entire team towards victory. Hero Killing Except for enough economic advantages, Fights between heroes in each lane, laning for short, are crucial for a victory. If you want to get an advantage in laning, it is important to clarify your position in the team and choose a hero that suits you. In honor of kings, different heroes have different attributes and features. They can be classified into six categories as follows. Marksman in the farm lane. Its most important task in the early stage of the game is farming. Good farming will help cause more damages to the enemy's heroes in the team fight. Mage in the mid lane. Its most important duty is supporting team members in other lanes after killing minions in the mid lane. Tank in the clash lane. Its main task in the early stage of the game is laning and it plays its role in the team fight using the hero's attribute. Fighter in the clash lane. In the physical melee hero. Supporting the farm lane. In order to protect Marksman's farming, the support will roam in the forge and support other team members or provide information about the enemy. 
Assassins are especially mainly curious. The assassin does not have a fixed position and usually obtain golden experience from resources in the jungle. Meanwhile, it needs to control the game pace and lay a foundation for the victory. After clarifying the hero position and selecting the suitable hero, you can win the game through better cooperation with your team members. Animal minions will arrive in 5 seconds. Players, please gather friends and prepare for the team fight. Let's fight in honor of kings.